welcome students to this video tutorial now we will discuss our second periodic property that is ionization potential how can we define ionization potential ionization potential is the amount of energy required to remove the valence electron from an isolated neutral gaseous atom leading to the formation of a cation. So the amount of energy required, stress on this word, required for what? To remove, remove which electron? Valence electron from isolated neutral gaseous atom leading to the formation of a Time. Let me explain you giving one example that why energy is required to remove the valence electron. When social distancing is the norm, if there are two friends who are attracted to one another and cannot maintain social distancing, in that case what their parents or police will do? Parents or police will try to pull them apart and for this some energy is required. Likewise, energy is required or invested to pull the valence electron from the attractive influence of the nucleus and this energy is termed as ionization potential. Now, for example, if we consider sodium atom, what is the electronic configuration of sodium? 2, 8, 1. Now, if we want to remove this valence electron, what we have to do? We have to supply energy. Why we have to supply energy? Because we have to free this electron from the attractive influence of the nucleus. Now, one electron is removed. For that, you are applying energy and that energy is termed as ionization potential. Now, the sodium, when it is losing one electron, it is becoming what? Sodium plus. That means, when valence electron is lost from a neutral atom, cation is formed. So what is ionization potential? Once again I am repeating. It is the amount of energy required to remove the valence electron from an isolated neutral gaseous atom leading to the formation of a cation. Let us discuss the factors on which ionization potential depends. The first factor is atomic size or atomic radius. And the second factor is Nuclear charge, we 
which is designated as Z. Always remember that if attractive force between the valence electron and the nucleus is more, greater will be the value of ionization potential because in that case we will require more amount of energy to remove the valence electron. So attraction more, ionization potential more. Now the first factor that is atomic radius. Greater the value of atomic radius, lesser will be the attraction. So IP will be less. So ionization potential and atomic radius, they are inversely proportional to each other. So IP is inversely proportional to atomic radius. Let us come to the second factor that is nuclear charge. If nuclear charge is more, then positive charge, that means the attraction of the valence electron from the nucleus will be more. Hence, more will be the value of ionization potential. So ionization potential and nuclear charge, they are directly proportional to each other. So IP directly proportional to nuclear charge. So small size and high nuclear charge favors ionization potential. Trends in ionization potential. Across a period from left to right, ionization potential increases. Down the group from top to bottom, ionization potential decreases. Now let us see what is the reason behind this trend. When you are traversing from left to right, Across a period, what happens to R? R decreases. And what about nuclear charge? Nuclear charge increases. Just now what we have learned? That IP is inversely proportional to R. And IP is directly proportional to Z. Now both these factors are favorable for the increase in ionization potential. So when we travel from left to right across a period, since R decreases and Z increases, so ionization potential will increase. Now while we travel from top to bottom down a group, IP will decrease. Why? What is the reason for this? While we travel from top to bottom, atomic radius increases and what about Z? Z also increases. Now here again we will have a fight between R and Z. The increase in the value of R will dictate ionization potential to decrease. Whereas, the increase in value of Z will dictate ionization potential to increase. So, these factors are acting in opposite direction. Here, the radius factor will overpower the nuclear charge. So, ionization potential will decrease when we travel from Top to bottom, down the group. Which group in the periodic table has 
highest value of ionization potential. Our answer will be group 18, that means the group which contains noble gases. Why? Because group 18, that is the noble gases, they have stable electronic configuration, duplet for helium and for the rest of the noble gases, we have octet in their valence shell. So it is very difficult to remove the valence electron from a stable electronic configuration. Hence, tremendous amount of energy is required to do so. So ionization potential of group 18 is maximum. Now, if I ask you, name the element in the periodic table which has highest value of ionization potential. Our answer will be here, helium. We know that group 18 will have highest value. Now, among group 18, when you will travel from top to bottom, IP will decrease since helium is a first member. So, helium is the element which is having highest value of ionization potential. Now, for the formation of electrovalent bond, the metal should have low IP. This is very important. Why low IP? Because if the ionization potential is low, then cation will be formed easily and for the formation of electrovalent bond, the formation of cation is the first step. So ionization potential increases from left to right across a period and decreases from top to bottom down a group. 